Welcome to Microservice Factory. When you're interested in microservices or professional software development, you're definitely in the right place. This channel is made for you when you're in the following situations. You are developing a legacy software and want to migrate to a modern architecture. You are developing a software monolith and want to migrate to a microservice architecture. Or when you're developing microservices. On this channel, we help you implementing professional software development. This covers the following areas. Microservices, service orchestration, message queues and databases, cloud, CICD, and team alignment. Hi, it's Stefan from Deep Data Ocean. Back in the 80s, when I was in elementary school, I was spending lots of time doing video games. And then my uncle told me about a new invention, a home computer. Back in the 80s, it was not so easy just to go to your parents and say, can you please get me a home computer, since nobody knew what this was. But there was a shop in the city, there was probably half an hour driving time. In this office shop, they, they showed a couple of home computers to the world, so you could, could just go there and use them for free. Unfortunately, I was the youngest guy. So I went to the shop, there were probably five or six computers standing on the table, a couple of Commodore 64, the great new cool stuff and the old Commodore 20. As I was the youngest one, I was only allowed to use the VC20 and not the cool things since the Commodore 64 was occupied by the great guys, by the big guys, probably being 15 or 16 years old. So I was starting to learn software development. So I read a book and then I started typing the listing from the book, basically copying it from the book to the computer. So the screen had probably 25 lines or something. So I started with my first line, then the second line, and someone later it was 25. And then I pressed enter and the first line vanished. So my cool program just disappeared. The first line just disappeared. So I didn't get it at all since it was the first time on, my com on a computer. So basically I didn't know what to do. I thought maybe I did something wrong. I started again. So I switched it off, switched it on and just copied the listing from the book again. And again, the first line vanished. So days later, the seller of this computer came to me and said, well, this cool computer has something called memory. So it stores the entire program. You can type list to list the entire program again. So basically, I learned software development the hard way. Afterwards, it took me basically decades to reach some degree of professionality. And in this channel, I help you just shortcutting this way. So I teach you everything you need to know to set up professional software development. But the easy way, you can basically skip decades of the hard way of learning software development. That basically means I'll teach you all things to learn about professional software development. With this, you learn basically everything to create a high performance software development team so that you can release new releases basically at least every sprint. This will make your users love your software and your management will see that you're reaching the top. So subscribe now to this channel. See you soon.